Look at that, right? You know, they made billions and broke barriers. Today in our special series, Black in America, Ed Lavendera introduces us to two brothers who have built an empire literally from the ground up, and they never forgot where they came from. You know you've arrived in the business world when your office can look like this. Yeah, this is all my stuff. <laughs> Michael and Stephen Roberts launched their business empire from a historically black neighborhood in North St. Louis. They estimate their company, which holds everything from hotels to TV stations, to be worth almost a billion dollars. So someone watching this who says, you know, that's really easy for these guys to say. They've got millions and millions of dollars. They can go out and, and buy, buy whatever they want. I'm, you know, I, could, I have two quarters to rub, to rub together. What, what do you tell that person? That we also had two quarters to rub together. Yeah. We weren't rich. We weren't poor. But we just never had any money either. We tell folks, learn it, get your hands dirty, you know, low sweat equity, and then, then you will know it. It becomes yours. The Roberts brothers say the key to success is putting ideas into action. They are relentless workers, always looking to make a deal. We're creatures, we're animals of the earth. What other animal re retires? I mean, if a lion retired, you know, today, tomorrow morning, he becomes his brother's breakfast, right? Mike was elected first. They were both elected to the St. Louis Board of Aldermen. Out of a one-room office, they created an empire made up of 76 companies with 1,100 employees. They run TV stations, hotels. They own commercial real estate and telecommunications companies. Their name adorns every property. The Roberts Village, the Roberts Loft, the Roberts Mayfair Hotel. But don't try comparing them to Donald Trump. That what may appear to you today as ego, 40 years from now, will be legacy. And black folks need legacy. We have to have examples of successes in order for us to be able to let the generations to come know that many of the successes that occurred by African Americans in this country can be seen and pointed out and can be emulated. The Orpheum Theater in downtown St. Louis symbolizes the Roberts' quest for legacy. Decades ago, their mother and other black people were only allowed to sit in the highest balcony. Now the Roberts brothers own the theater. And mom has been from the balcony. I assume she's get a oh, yes. she gets a front row seat. Right? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mom, can, tables, mom can sit right. wherever she, she likes. That is priceless. Hey mom, how you doing? At Lavendera, CNN, St. Louis, Missouri. And for more stories of people stepping up, taking charge, and creating solutions, watch the documentary Black in America 2, premiering July 22nd and 23rd, only on CNN. 40 minutes after the hour.